So today I want to share with you um, three pieces of gear that I use on every mix. Um, and I don't just use them because I like the people that are involved with these pieces of gear. They're special people. But these things, just you just can't get this sound anyplace else. So we're going to start off with a piece of gear called the Locomotive. Now the Locomotive is a compressor made in St. Louis by um, uh, Eric Stroth, uh, a young man who uses it, he makes them by himself. They're like little pieces of art on the inside. I want you to go to the website. The website is lo locomotiveaudio.com. Check out the insides, check out all the features and stuff. This thing is gonna be, it's destined to be a classic. It's really good. Um, the locomotive, now it's got, um, it, when you go to the website, you'll see, and, and, and Brian's gonna run some photos that you can look at. Um, it's gonna, it's, you'll see it's got tack and release. It's got a, a a high pass filter on the side chain. It's got um, input and output gain, which is kind of neat. And it's also got a switch where you can use it as a limiter, as a compressor, full featured. Um, it does a neat thing where um, Eric has emulated the biasing of the input tube, kind of like some of our favorite compressors have done in the past, the, the Fairchild, the Collins, uh, the Gates, which is one of my favorites. So uh, special thanks to Edwin Oliver, who's, um, got me exposed to this and, and got me set up. And then Bob Horn, of course, um, we, we both own all these pieces of gear. So Bob is, um, uh, has been instrumental in helping me get these things. So, um, I'm gonna play you a little piece, do a little before and after. And, um, just like I said, I just want to expose you to this, do your homework, run, grab one. Okay. So here's, um, here's an artist, um, Magdalena Tull, T-U-L. Uh, amazing artist, European artist. So here's her vocal. The song is called Closer. It'll be a single real soon. So check this out. Even when you doubt the daylight receiving the sorrow. Now here's with it. Even when you doubt the daylight receiving the sorrow without it even when you doubt the daylight on my meters it's actually showing louder without it than with it but it sounds louder with it and you can see it just adds a roundness to the voice um all of the things you want a compressor to do this thing does really amazingly well now i want to show you um a piece of gear that my friend um jeff terzo at overstayer makes some amazing pieces of equipment Jeff started by trying to see if he could make a great compressor with, with stock off-the-shelf parts. I mean, everybody's bought this thing. That compressor is called his FET compressor, and his company's called Overstayer, S-T-A-Y-E-R. Uh, he, he, um, he loaned me um, a prototype a while back, and, and uh, I hope he doesn't watch this because he's never getting it back, but he calls it the M-A-S. Um, Leandro, think of something funny we can make up with M-A-S. Um, can't think of anything, send your cards and letters to overstayer.com and, and have some, jet, some su su suggestions for what this thing, Jeff's going to kill me. Now, um, this piece of gear, think of it as taking a console, say an SSL, one of the more modern consoles, and, and, and when you hit the console hard, what you're doing is you're inducing a little bit of compression, a little bit of limiting, and the way the distortion comes through these consoles, it's a little more pleasing because it, it rounds off some edges and does a lot of things that that um, that we'll have a phys physics course soon and explain. The main thing is 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 this stuff real really sounds good when it goes through this thing. So let me set that up. Okay, so let's take a listen. This is um, same song. This is without the Overstayer MAS. Okay, this is gonna scare you, watch this. Yeah, BP. I set it up kind of subtle, so um, but you can see uh, it got louder, but not 
but not necessarily more um, more gain on the meter. It's um, it, it 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 helps you push things up to a ceiling, the way I think of it. But but it, instead of hitting the ceiling and having a hard ceiling, it kind of makes it smooth and makes it just kind of I don't know just just better. Um, it makes it overstayer. I got one more to share with you. Okay, now I'm going to play you the Black Box HG2 by um, by Eric Eric Racy and his partner Robert Wayne Scott. I think I said that right. Robert, I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, now this is a a bit of a different situation than than the the other pieces of gear uh, that we looked at. Now the the locomotive compressor is a, is is a modern take on some classic circuitry. Um, the overstayer MAS is has no tubes. It's it's all um, analog, but but it uses a combination of electronics and and and, and um, circuitry to to emulate what happens when you have great things come to be come to be within your mix from a console. I don't know how to describe it. I think I think Jeff's going to kill me for saying that. But um, now this particular piece of gear. I don't know quite how to describe it. It does some limiting, it does some compression, compression, uh, just like the overstayer, um, it, it actually can enrich harmonics. You can have control over the harmonic content. Um, uh, check my notes out real quick. Um, uh, it, it, it does some saturating. Um, I'm starting to get a little bored with the term saturation, so I hope I don't piss anybody off by saying that, but, um, Basically, when you want it to be better, you use these three pieces of gear. That's kind of the bottom line. Describing what it does and all that, that's helpful and that's, that's, that's good and you should know that because that's our job and our profession and our hobby. So with this, um, I tend to use it, um, if, I got, if I've got guitars, uh, particularly rock guitars, and I want them to have a little more realness to them and to kind of take a step forward in the mix. I'll, I'll put all the all the guitars through one aux and I'll put this across that aux. Um, the overstayer I tend to use more on stereo bus and then the compressor, uh, uh, the locomotive compressor, you can use it in stereo but you need two units. You can connect them with a switch. And uh, so let me show you this. Um, Leandro set this up uh, in parallel. I was questioning it and then I heard it and I liked the parallel um, I like doing it in parallel and it works just as well across things. So here's without it. Check these drums. Ooh, Dave, those sound so good. Thank you. Here we go with it. Come on, man, give it up. Um, I noticed I went a tiny bit louder with it, but not that much. Uh, on my meter, it's looking like about a half a dB. But you can you can hear how um, it just, it, I don't know, it just sounds better. <laughs> how would you describe it, Leandro? I think it adds some nice color to it. and uh, brings some nice strength to the drums, too. I, I agree with that. Um, Leandro mentioned color. I think... I think all three of these pieces of gear, what I like about them is, is they add colors and textures. I know I'm starting to sound like a, well, let's don't go there. Um, uh, a lot of times people just, the hard, you know what? The hardest thing in audio is to describe these things because when you describe them from a scientific standpoint, they don't mean anything. And so you tend to use things like, like color and texture and all those kinds of things, and those those are hard to describe. So, the best thing to do is get some demos, check these things out for yourself. I promise you, these things work for me. Uh, that was kind of a commercial type thing to do. One of those agreements you read. I promise it works for me. I promise you're gonna like it. Somebody out there is gonna like it. I promise you, I like it. There we go. Check it out. See you soon. <laughs>